<laughs> right, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video, we are going to do a brood lift from this tetragonula carbonaria hive to an adduction that we've got going on the other side of the yard. Um, this video has been requested for quite some time. I've done one brood lift into an observation hive and it was not very pretty at all. Hopefully this one goes a lot smoother being a straight box to box transfer. Um, Here's our donor hive here, it's full as a boot. We'll have a look at it, then we'll go over and have a look at our adduction, and then we'll get into it, eh? Right all, let's go. Okay, here is our donor hive here. As usual, it's not very good viewing through the viewing panel, <laughs> through the camera, but anyway, we can see the brood there uh, is lovely and big. Um, and there is a nice queen cell right on top over here. So, I don't know how much I'm going to take. This is all older brood, so the advancing front is buried down below this. Um, I'm not going to take too much. I just want to make sure I get a queen cell. All right, let's skip over and have a look at our adduction. All righty, here is our adduction. It's been hooked up for about a week and a half. Um, where are we? Okay. Again, really difficult to see inside there. So I've started putting a bit of food in there and a bit of structure. Not too much, there's heaps of bees in there. But you can see those two stainless steel brood rods there. Well, these boxes have four of them and those two there are the lowest pair. I wanna sit this brood on top of those. So what I've done is I've removed the top two here. I've just pulled them out of the box. So once the brood is sitting on those two stainless steel rods there, I'll slide the top two back in and we'll be ready to rock. Alrighty, let's go and remove some brood from our donor hive. I'm gonna make sure I absolutely lather myself in the Bushman's Naturals because I've got a feeling these TCs might be a little bit cranky. Right, oh, let's go. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna be super, super gentle in removing our viewing panel. Nice and slow. Don't rock the boat in any way, shape or form. Have a little bit of brood sticking to the viewing panel. And that's okay, it's just gonna make it a bit easier to get out. Okay. So there is our viewing panel off. I'll just sit that down there and just make sure that you guys can see that. Zoom in here a little bit. Okay, that's better. So we can see our queen cell down here on the right hand side of the screen, just near the edge of my poker there. So I'm just gonna take oh, probably the first couple of layers of brood and make sure I get that queen cell there. So I'm just going to use my straight spatula here to just break some of the struts, holding those layers in. Nice and calm. Pull that involucrum back a little bit from the brood. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a right angle brood lifting tool. 
and we'll try and take these three layers, I think. Including our queen cell there. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so there's our brood right there, surfed fly, pierce off. Got our queen cell on the edge here. Now, the advancing front is down about another, oh, I don't know, 50 mil in this box here. So these guys may suffer a little bit of bee lag by removing this older brood, but we'll see how we go. Okay, I'll just put this viewing panel back on and we can move on to the, uh, over to the adduction. So again, just down nice and slow with our viewing panel, trying not to get any bees trapped between it and the box. Lovely. Okay, that went fantastically. The Bushmans did its job, not a single bee landing on me. Get the lid back on and we'll move over to the adduction. Okay, here we go. Same thing, super gentle removing our viewing panel. B numbers are excellent inside here. Okay, let's make sure you guys can see down in there. No, you can't. Righto, so you can see our two stainless steel rods down here. That's where I'm gonna put the brood. Here's our brood here. Okay. So straight down on top of those bars with that brood. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide these two, uh, you can see those two brood rods on the left hanging out. I'm just gonna slide those back through. There we go. So there's our two brood rods back in place. So those bees will now secure that brood to those rods there and, um, and happy days. So I guess from this point on guys, what I'm gonna do is just keep a close eye on, on this brood and that queen cell. I'll probably leave them connected for another week and then uh, while I'm watching that queen cell and then I'm gonna disconnect them and do some box swapping here with the mother hive. Uh, just to keep B numbers up in this adduction hive here. So, rightio, let us put the viewing panel down. Okay, viewing panel is back down. All right, guys, so we are done. And to be honest with you, that went way better than I expected it to go. Um, I didn't get attacked by the bees from the donor hive. I didn't get attacked by the bees in this adduction daughter hive. Um, I didn't make a mess pulling the viewing panel off the donor hive. Um, the transfer itself, pff, textbook, went super smooth. Now I absolutely can't guarantee that it's gonna go that smoothly for you guys, but um, hey, it is what it is, you know. Um, but we have, however, moved away from the hands-off approach of a normal adduction, and we've now moved into a brood lift, okay? So the two are totally different things. Adduction is hands-off, brood lift, hands-on and invasive, as you've just seen. So, um, however, it is a totally legitimate way to propagate your bees. So, um, we're giving that a go. Um, but anyway, look, I'll keep an eye on this uh, situation going on here. I'm going to monitor this brood in here for, say, the next week, keeping a really close eye on that queen cell. Um, and then I'm going to separate these two boxes and I'm just going to swap these two around, alternate them sort of maybe every two or three days, just to even out bee numbers, make sure that the mother hive here doesn't suffer, but keeping bee numbers up uh, in the daughter hive here. And what I'm expecting to see happen in the next day is bees will flood out of the mother hive here to look after that brood I've just put in there. So this guy's gonna be a bit depleted, 
Um, so we've got to look after our nice, strong, healthy hive. But anyway, that's us done. One brood lift, Tetragonula carbonaria, complete. Hope that helps, answers some questions. Um, like I said, it went extraordinarily well, um, and I can't guarantee that yours will be the same. So um, you just have to take each case on its own merits. But anyway, we're done. Hope that helps. See you in the next video. Be good to yourself, be good to your bees. Catch you later.